J. Cool. Mother Africa, Mother Africa, come on, Mother Africa, I'm coming home. Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle, and it's all about learning. I love you, Africa. What's going on, guys? It's your man J. Coop, and today we are going to be eating Kenyan cooking homemade. I am so excited, people. Hope you guys are having a great day because this is going to be an amazing video. Now, you know, before we even get started, what do I need you to do? Smash that like button. Let them know that Coop's Corner is here and we're here to stay. So guys, I had a supporter reach out and said that she can cook an amazing homemade Kenyan meal. And me, I said, okay, why not? Sawa sawa. So guys, we're going to be eating beef, ugali, and skuma wiki. Oh man, I am so excited for this. I hope you guys got a plate as well because we're going to be serving up some beautiful Kenyan cuisine. Let's go in here, meet the young lady who's going to be cooking for us, and let's see how it's prepared, baby. Okay, guys, welcome, Miss Jenny. Jenny. She is a loyal supporter and she said that she can cook some amazing Kenyan food, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us what are we going to be eating today? We're making ugali, skuma wiki, and some beef meat. Nice. Okay, guys, so we have to see how she's going to do. You think you're going to do good? Very. I'm 100% sure. 100% sure. All right, y'all, let's get into it. So what are we going to start off with cooking first? The skumawiki. Skumawiki, okay. Then the meat. Then the meat. And then the ugali so that it doesn't get cold. Okay, nice. Well, hey, do your thing. I'm just here observing. When you normally cook skumawiki, what are the steps that you take when you're cooking such a delicacy? Okay, first of all, you have to wash them. Okay. Because obviously they are dirty somehow. They like have dust and everything. Then you will like peel them. Okay. You have to get these parts out. Okay. Because that's the root. Yeah. Okay. It is. They smell good though. Somehow they do. So we're cleaning the skooma wiki, guys. How long does skooma wiki typically take to make? Uh, like 10 to 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. So they be whipping it up fast when I go past those places. So like, what are those places like on the street called that just sell it and you can just pull up a chair and just eat? They are called Kibanda, or Kibanda. better still Kibandaski. Nice. It depends on how you want to call it. Yeah. So those are popular here, I think. They are, really. And it's cheap, affordable, and their food is nice if they are clean, that is. Right, so like, how can you tell if they're clean or not though? From the way they are serving and cleaning up the place after people are eating. Right. Yeah. Oh, and of course, if you don't stay afterwards. Oh, hold on, hold on. What did you just say? <laughs> if you don't stay here afterwards. Oh, God. Okay, guys. So she just said if you don't get diarrhea afterwards, okay? Now, if you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. Now, I'm not blaming that on anybody. So I go to the bathroom, you know, sit down. And that's when I knew. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Something wasn't about to be right. I had a pretty bad case of something, man, but you know, make sure stuff is clean, but it's better to have it homemade because as you can see, she's cleaning it herself. So that way you know that your food is clean. That's the beauty of homemade cooking. Let's get back into it, baby. And look what we got, guys. I got my Impesa. Now, do not clown me from my phone. I got the cheapest one possible for the Impesa. Salute to all of my Kenyan supporters, man. Like, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. That's one of the reasons why I'm here, because you guys are so supportive, and you guys know that I'm sincere with my message as well. So, I'm gonna leave my Impesa number below. I had to buy this food today. Y'all, the Skuma Wiki wasn't cheap, you feel? I really appreciate you guys, and let's get back to the kitchen, baby. I, I, I. So Miss Jenny has it nicely right there. Are you about to chop it up now? Yeah. Uh-oh, here we go. Watch your fingers, all right? You can't be getting hurt over here. I don't got no insurance. Okay, so we're chopping up the skooma wiki, guys. And I've had skooma wiki before, and I actually love it. But we got to see if Miss Jetty can make skooma wiki. You feel me? It's a lot of skooma wiki, too. Funny thing, it shrinks when you cook it. Oh, so like it's not really going to be yeah. a lot like that? Funny thing, they are larger. Skooma wikis and spinaches. Like big, big. Big, big spinaches. <laughs> How long have you been cooking and... Where did you learn to cook from? Practically when I was around class 
six, seven there because my mom used to travel a lot. So like I had to like teach myself how to cook or rather she taught me some things. You can't go hungry when your parents travel. You, you have just, you just have to know. Plus it's good to eat healthy food. Absolutely. Yeah. Because guys, the last couple of days I have been struggling. You want to know what I ate for the past few days? Day number one, pizza. Day number two, pizza. What do we get for day number three? Pizza I had pizza. <laughs> That's why like, I love you guys, man, because you guys say, Jackson, I can cook, so trusting the right people. I can't just let anybody just cook for me, but vetting you out, seeing if you can actually cook. You know, I saw some pictures and she can cook. So now we got to see how it tastes. Eating healthy is very important. It keeps you young. It keeps you healthy as well. Eat out sometimes. Life is all about balance, guys. So don't do too much of one thing. You'll be good to go. Let's get back in the kitchen, baby. Cutting it up nice and little. Nice. Mmm, that looks good. I can eat it just like that. <laughs> it's like a little salad, right? Yeah. So healthy, I gotta stop eating bad food. No more bad food, only good food. Hit pizza. No more pizza. <laughs> Keep everything washed up, guys. So with the sand particles. She getting busy with that knife. I would not mess with you, lady. <laughs> Okay, hey, so now what are we doing this jetty? Now we are washing the tomatoes, the coriander. You can't wash the onions, the capsicum. Capsicum? Yeah. Mm, we call them peppers. Either. Everything smells fresh and amazing. This is a tomato in Africa. Like I'm living life right now, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna slice this up and put it in what? For my wiki and for the beef. It's like a mixture. Oh, garlic is an antibiotic. Absolutely, garlic is good for you. Yeah, it is. I like it's gonna make your breath stink. But it's healthy. <laughs> but it's healthy for you guys. Oh. Now like too close, it smells crazy. But like from afar, that smells so good. That sounds like a lot of Kenyan food. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it a cookie yeah. too? <laughs> Listen, that's another Kenyan <laughs> thing. See guys, I see things that y'all don't see because I'm coming from outside the box. And yeah. Yeah, that's the Kenya thing. I love you guys. So, so you have to peel all that off with a knife. Yeah. So would you say that this meal is like a very popular one within the Kenyan household? Yeah, it is. Because it's like the easy one, but the most like, it's it's loved. You eat and you feel like you've eaten something. So like, what's your favorite piece of this dish? Like favorite item in this dish? Basically everything. Okay, ugali is not that tasty, but it's nice. But kuma wiki with like onions and coriander and tomatoes, then the beef, wow. Just wow. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing now? Grinding this one. And this is the? The ginger. Ginger. Ah. Right. And you also have to be careful so that you also don't like grind ginger your, your hand. hand. Yeah. Wow, guys, we're getting all of those seasonings in there, man. All of this is going to go into the Swimmer Wiki. Ah, now we're cutting up the tomatoes. There we go. So I'll grate them. Oh, so, oh, so these get grated nice. too. Is this like catching bari pretty much? Ah, uh, kinda. This like helps like to remove all the juice. Wow, that's a lot of juice. Guys, go ahead and hit this video with a like. Miss Jetty was the first up <laughs> on cooking in Kenya. She's doing a great job, guys. Hit that like button. I have never seen a thing like this before. That is crazy. You've never? You like, don't... that looks like a, um, kind of like lungs. Those look like lungs. <laughs> when you're steaming your meat, you can, like, put them like this. Mm. Then, like, Are you yeah. going to put that in there with the yeah. meat? Yeah, yeah. Nice. This one is already dry. So that one's easier to do right there, I can yeah. tell. What are we going to be doing with this? After I fry the onions, uh -huh. this will act as the paste. Looks like spaghetti so far. What are the other ways that you can do this with the tomato other than grating it? Uh, you can like chop them into small pieces. Okay. Uh, if you want them big, like you can cut them in circles. So I'm kind of getting the hang of the ingredients here in Kenya. You're going to use tomato, onion, coriander, and skumawiki. Yeah. Which, back in America, this is pretty much greens for us, guys. Mmm, smells great. I'm not going to lie, though. You know what I think this is missing? Mm -hmm. Chapati. <laughs> I knew it. Everybody that watches my channel knows that I love chapati. So I'm like, that would probably be too much, though, right? No, not really. These are a unique taste, guys, but it's different. But it still tastes good, though, like barbecue chicken. Like, it really has, like, a chicken flavor to it. Like, I've never had a chip with an actual chicken flavor, but it's good. Don't feed me when I'm crying. 
I'm not gonna. <laughs> the onions are making her cry, man. This is like, I'm gonna start crying too. <laughs> smell the pepper, guys. Yeah, that's that, that's that cachumbari smell. But you don't call it the pepper. What do you call it? Capsicum or jojo. Oh, look at that, guys. That looks great. So what do we have here, Miss Jetty? It's beef. We start boiling it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna boil the meat. Yeah. That's like Christmas, God. This is the good part right here. Oh. It looks very bloody, but it looks good still. Like if it's bloody, it's fresh. If it's, it's not, it's not fresh. <laughs> it's not fresh. <laughs> if it's not and it's like blackish, mm. question that meat. <laughs> question that meat. <laughs> Me, you should wash it first. Absolutely. Yeah. Get all in there. Nice. Drain it out. Okay, so now we're going to boil the meat. Yeah. The muiko is small. <laughs> what did you call it? Muiko. Muiko a spoon? Yeah. Ah, I learned something, guys. So the muiko is small. That is spoon. Fire is litty in the city, baby. So how long do we let it sit for? 20, 30 minutes. See you in 20 minutes. So do you just like use like a timer like in your head? Kind of like, like you kind of know. When you're used to cooking, you like know. You know. <laughs> if you know, <laughs> you know. time, you have to use. So much fire being lit over here, guys. This is safety first, kids. Okay, so we're putting the oil in for the school week, you guys. So she's kind of just going with the flow. I see she's not measuring too much stuff. All right, guys, here we go. Just look at this, guys. Look at that me cooking steam that camera and pretty much because what I've learned is we're going to use the ugali as like a spoon kind of like that's yeah. that's the utensil that's that's you'll have to use your hands okay no problem yeah. okay guys so we just put some salt in the beef and it is looking and smelling amazing what are we doing now uh, we are putting garlic and ginger just a little bit just a little bit of ginger then you let it cook for some two to three minutes or four. Two to three to four minutes. Okay, guys, we're adding the Dania. Oh man, guys, this looks amazing. Take a few chunk, chunk, small, small ones. Then you start. Okay. Yeah. Just listen to it, guys. When it's like cooking out, like yeah, steaming. Yeah, then it's mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so would you typically have a bigger pan than this when cooking? Yeah, yeah. If okay. you're cooking for a lot of people, lot you of definitely people. have to like, get a bigger pan or a bigger pot. Are we going to be using that whole thing of maize? No. Hey, if it's a whole, it's like you're cooking <laughs> for a family of 15 or 17. <laughs> All right, guys, we're dumping it in. Whoa. Then I'm stuck late. And what is it called? Stirring. <laughs> Stirring, yes. And you also have to be careful because when it boils, yes, and it like touches your skin, <laughs> it'll burn you. It will burn you. So you have to be like really, really, really careful and fast also. Wow, it seems like it's cooking like relatively quick, like yes. So back in the states, if I just walked in and saw somebody doing this, this looks like mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Got the skooma wiki going, the beef going, and the ugali going. The trifecta is on and popping, y'all. I can start to smell everything now, too. We're not even like, I can really, I'm getting hype, y'all. Like, it's, it's starting to come now. Hit that like button, guys, for Miss Jerry. She is putting in heavy work, man. And then, then you like the video, subscribe, and also leave a comment, Hapuchini. <laughs> This is like for four people who have an appetite. Man, that's for like 40 people. So you like have to like make a, like a mountain shape. Okay. Then you like poke holes so that the heat can enter your thing. You're getting crazy with it now, guys. So we're getting some skooma wiki juice in the beef, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that Kenyan yeah, yeah, y'all. <laughs> Comment yeah, yeah down there in the comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the kitchen with some chicken like a stir fry, yo. Woo! Okay, guys, so we're tasting the skooma wiki right now. Live from the chef. There we go. Sawa sawa? Sawa sawa. Nice. Uh, so does it always crust at the, at the bottom like that? Yeah, it's, it is. And people actually eat it also. That's what I was going to ask. Like, something like people would eat that from yeah. the crust part. And it's sweet also. It's good? It's like dry chapati, but from Ugali. Ah. Should have never told me that one. That could be Mount Kenya right there, guys. This is the new Mount Kenya. 
right here. Looks so tender. Yeah. But we still have more to add, right? Yeah, we have garlic, tomato, onion, capsicum, and coriander. We're getting the juice from the beef, and we're going to be smearing that on top of the ugali. It's like the gravy for the ugali, guys. Onions going in, guys. Okay, garlic's going in. All of the colors are coming together. All the food is coming together. Mixing it up super proper. Tomato sauce is in there. Oh my gosh. It's like a beef salad. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the food. <laughs> you ready? She's nervous because she knows that she's the cook. You tell us what we're eating. It's ugali, greens, and a beef meat. Beef meat. We have, where's your fork? I'm using my hand. Do I have to use my hands too? Okay. All right, let's dig in and see what we're doing. So she's taking the ugali. We need to get this. And she's doing this. Then you create a cajudo. Oh, okay. Then you pinch. This is what we're doing. Then then you pinch the sumawiki. Yeah. Then a piece of meat. Then a piece of meat. Then you eat. Then you eat. Mmm. It's so good. It's good. It's really good. Great job. Look at that, man. This is like the spoon. And the pork at the same time. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Woo! The meat is so tender. The skumawiki is perfect. And the ugali, it just finishes it off perfect. I want to eat this in peace. So we'll be back after this commercial break. Five minutes later. Okay, guys, we are back. I eat faster than everybody, so she's not done yet. Now it's time to rate the first cooking in Kenya. So as a meal, out of 10, I rate this beef, ugali, and skumawiki. A perfect 10. It was great, man. I've like had this before, just as good if not better than at the restaurant. So you did a great job. We're drinking treetop. Yeah. Mango juice. Bang it. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you for the beautiful meal from my channel. Welcome. It was great. This was a great start to cooking in Kenya, guys. Until next time, stay blessed. And you know what I got to say, right? Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle and it's all about learning.